Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a what's in my bag review on this beautifully gorgeous American Leather Company um, Lennox bag. Now, oh, I believe that's the name of it. This bag came, I got this bag brand new, um, but it didn't have any tags. It just had the um, little like tag cord, I guess, but the tag, somebody had ripped the tags off of it. And um, so, yeah, so this is a new bag, but I can't give you like 100% like the name, the color and all that stuff. So I do know it's the Lennox bag um, by the American Leather Company. This is a genuine leather, pebbled leather, so soft bag. I have shared before with you the American Leather Company Kansas crossbody, I believe. But I saw this bag, um, the Vintage Sack did a video on this bag. So you guys should go check her out, her channel out. Um, I saw this bag and I knew I had to have it. Like there was no ifs, ands, or buts. I became obsessed. So I hunted this bag down. <laughs> and like I said, I did purchase it new with tags or new it was new. It had all the stuffing in it from the American Leather Company and it had the tags, like the little plastic pieces, but the tags were not um, on it. Somebody had ripped them off. So I found this bag on Poshmark and scooped it up as fast as I, my little fingers could fly. And I have been carrying it probably for, I want to say a good two or three weeks. Um, I just been so busy I haven't had time to change out nor did I really have any want to change out of this bag um, this is just a really really great bag and um, let's go ahead and get into it so I don't like bore you to death <clears throat> but this bag and I'm sorry for the lighting because it's about to storm and I am um, in my room and I have horrible lighting so yeah there's that <laughs> So, um, this bag, it ha it, like I said, it's a very squishy, soft, pebbled leather. It has these, um, antique brass, um, hardware, and I just love this bag. You have two carry handles here, and, um, you have some little rivets here that attach the little D-ring, like you can see it on this side, the D-ring here, the two little rivets hold that in. So you have the American Leather Company stamp right here. Like, look at how that pebbling, oh, you guys, this is the softest leather I've ever felt. Um, so this is the front. This is what the side looks like. This is the back and this is the bottom. There are no feet. And this bag scratches easily, like you can see. But, I mean, you can buff it right out with your fingers. And I don't mind that. I love leather. It's my favorite. And I love that character. So, this bag, when it's not full, <laughs> is, a, for it being a leather bag, it's really light. Um, I don't know if it's the type of leather that it is, but it's, I love this bag. So you have three compartments. You have the main zipper and you have two outer compartments. Oh, and you have this zipper in the back. We'll go ahead and go through that one first. It's not like this zipper, I just carry my phone. Um, like I said, it's got this antique brass, bronze, I'm not sure. Um, this is the zipper pull. It's um, a leather zipper pull. And the inside is this really pretty canvas material, like a cotton canvas. And the only thing I carry have in here is my little fidget toy and a chapstick. And then I carry, um, that actually goes the width of the pocket all the way down. So it's a very generous pocket. Um, but my phone goes in here as well. So... <clears throat> Oh, it's starting to rain. I'm sorry if you guys are gonna be able to hear that. <laughs> so you have two straps here 
and they have the little cloth, the little, what is this called? The little hook here um, on both sides. So these straps are completely removable. If you wanted to do a longer strap or like a guitar strap or something, you could totally do that. Um, so these pockets are magnetic and in here I have on one side, I have just clipped my AirPods, which I need to take off because I'm pretty sure they're dead. Yep. Look how cute this case is though. You guys, so cute. So I just clipped that onto this D-ring inside this pocket. And then on this side, I just have my little turtle pocket back. Sorry you guys, my son's in here because he wanted to spend some time with mama and he's dropping stuff. <laughs> That's all that matters, not dropping the AirPods. So I keep one hooked on this side and one on this side so that I can easily access those. And then I just have some um, face wipes in here. Um, these are um, insect repellent wipes, which in Florida we need those. And then I have my Soap and Glory fragrance mist that I love, you guys, I love that stuff. And then I have my Soap and Glory hand food. This is a really great hand lotion. Mom, is this not for hair? No, that's not rose water, baby. It's not your face. <laughs> and then in here, and then in here, I just have some stroller clips because like if I'm carrying this in the store and I need, <clears throat> um, like I need my full cart and I don't want to carry this on my shoulder, I will literally just like pop one of these on and onto the cart and carabiner my both of these handles through one and um, that way my purse isn't like hanging out in in the gross uh, grocery cart but this is like it's a big pocket um, it's very big yes it's a big pocket I love how it has right here you have about a good two inches of leather so when you're opening and closing it, the interior fabric doesn't get like disgusting and gross. And this um, is very similar to the Coach Rogue. If you are similar, similar, if you are familiar with the Coach Rogue, it, this is very similar in setup. However, this pocket in the middle on the robe only comes down like it's much lower so you can't fit as much in it so i much prefer this leather um american leather company over the coach just for that reason alone you get you can carry more into in the actual bag and then in the back here i just have my sunglasses and my keys and then i also have a B piece. You're so funny. And this kind of shows you, I don't know if I can, if you guys can even tell, like there's a, it, it's a very generous pocket and these magnetic snaps are pretty, pretty strong. So, um, but in here I just have my, um, like all the stuff that you guys in all my other videos I just keep in here and then in this center part which is also this bronzed metal zipper with the leather pull um, I like how it goes down a little further on the side and then you do have this little bit of a gusset so even though you open it wider than the bag your stuff's not gonna fall out. Does that make sense? Like even though the zipper goes down far, you're not gonna lose the contents of your bag. So this is what the inside of the bag looks like. Oh, my son just took my Altoids. So it's massive. So in here, I just have a open, non-zipped, <laughs> um, B piece that has my bug bite thing, some band-aids, um, some neosporin spray, and my pill case. Don't open the pill case, Hudson. 
And then I have my hair brush. I have this wallet, my fossil wallet. This is what I carry in this with this bag. I just love the two colors. It's just so fall to me and I am so ready for fall. I miss my seasons. Um, I have two little reusable silly straws and what is change i put a bunch of change in here and this purse is not constructed like structured wise it's constructed good lord words are hard today guys and it's the afternoon so you would think i'd be all right but no i'm not <laughs> it's not structured um so it's it's yeah. it's gonna fall over on itself so here's the placard on the inside, um, the leather placard that says American Leather Company. And then you have another little zipper that is, again, a leather pull. I love the details on these bags. And in here, in this part, I just have some girl stuff and some wipes. And this is a very, I don't even know if I can show you. It's a very generous pocket on the inside there as well. And then you have two wall pockets. And in here, I just have my two favorite lip glosses. And on this side, I just have a packet of tissues because I have been having some issues with like allergies. I tested negative for COVID, so that's great, but I still am dealing with something. I don't know if it's like a sinus infection now or not, but this is the bag empty. And like I said, it's super light considering it's a full grain leather, genuine leather bag. Um, I love it and I'll go ahead and show you this is the wallet that I'm carrying in this bag this is another like a it's less pebbled but still pebbled it's a fossil wallet and on the back it says here in genuine leather and it's like the, an, like a plum I love it it's like a plum color and let me just double check and see okay yeah we're good so it's a um, so the front here, this is the setup. So I have my checkbook here um, and inside here I have, hang on. Um, it has one, two, three, four compartments and then a pen loop here. And then you have an ID window, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight card slots. And then in the back here, I just keep receipts. <clears throat> I have a slip pocket here that I have some extra cards in and then a slip pocket here for cash. So um, again, and then underneath here, you do have a spot for like, you know, putting a register in there. I just, I don't carry a register. I lock that in a planner, so. Um, but you can, like I said, I mean, I have this thing pretty full and I can still clip it on the first, well, if I can do this one handed here, I can still clip it on the very first, I can't do it seeing through this, but, um, and then oh, it's way too much change. I need to get rid of some change <laughs> or store it separately from my, from my regular billfold. So that is what I have in my bag. This is the American Leather Company Lennox and I will be purchasing as I find them. I will be purchasing this in every possible color because like I said, I am, I've carried this thing for three weeks. I, with the exception of like once or twice, I moved into a backpack for the, um, you know, for the day or for an evening. Um, and other than that, this is what I've been carrying and I love it. So if you like this kind of content, sorry, I'm long winded today. Um, but if you like this kind of content, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button, hit the light or give me a big thumbs up. Um, I've got so many views, but not, not everybody is subscribing. So if you guys could subscribe, that helps my channel out so much. And I will see you guys in my next one. Thanks.